Hi friends. <laughs> Welcome back to my channel for apparently a very chaotic start to another vlog. I ended my last vlog last night. I'm starting a new vlog this morning. It is Sunday, so it's gonna be a Sunday, Monday vlog. Here's what we have on tap. Today's gonna be kind of like a take care of myself uh, physically and then spiritually and emotionally kind of day. We're about to go to church. I have lunch plans. There's the emotional part. Physically, I booked a massage tonight. And I also just started my period. So I'm like, feeling kind of meh. And tomorrow, I get this feeling, I'd say once a quarter, where I'm just like, I need to declutter, organize. There's so many things I want to get rid of. I've just accumulated things in random drawers. <laughs> And um, it's time for that. So this is gonna be a decluttering vlog tomorrow too, as well. Um, what are you trying to tell me? <laughs> I'm going to uh, finish getting dressed. I just did my makeup, but I haven't done my hair or picked out clothes yet. And <laughs> I'm so sorry for him this morning. We're just gonna, uh, yeah, head to church. And I feel like it's actually been a while because like last week was Mother's Day and the week before that, I was out of town, I think. I don't know. It's been weeks since I've been to this church and I'm feeling kind of detached. So it's gonna be great. Just wanted to say hello, good morning. I'm so glad you're here. And let's get this vlog started. What do you say? Okay. <laughs> I'm at church a little bit early and honestly, just real life, I do have one friend that's gonna be here at this service. I started driving here before I knew that for sure, but she is gonna be here. And I kind of just like don't wanna walk in until she's in there because it's been so long, so I'm gonna hang out here for a minute. But the other friend that I'm meeting after church, um, we are going to a place that I wanna tell you about now while I have the time, because I haven't been there since I've moved back to Austin, but it's called Honest Mary's, and it's so good. It's, it's kind of like a Chipotle setup, but really good, really fresh, and they label gluten-free, and you can make like salad bowls and really healthy, yummy things like that. So I'm so excited to go, because I kind of forgot about it. Last time I went was probably two years ago when I was visiting Austin for a haircut. So it's been a while looking forward to that. Some good healthy foods in my body. Yet again, today I'm being intentional about taking care of myself. That is the goal. home. I know in the last vlog I got these discount tulips and they're there and on my dining table and seeing them when I come in the door brings me so much more joy than I remembered. Hi buddy. Oh thank you. So yesterday, the day that I'm filming this video, I posted some Instagram stories about my seed probiotics and I was just kind of glancing through a lot of my DM requests um, earlier today and I cannot tell you how fulfilling it is for me to read how many of you guys have started using seed and then see the things that you say about it and how it's positively affected your life. Like I'm gonna read a couple of the screenshots I just took just now. Um, Allison said, ordered these through your link. I've been taking them for about two weeks. Cutest packaging ever. The travel packaging is 10 out of 10. Julia said, been taking these for a month and I really feel a difference. I had a lot of GI discomfort and I feel like it's been helping that. Ditto said, I got my monthly refill today with like the little praise emojis. I am actually working with Seed again on today's video and I have a couple times in the near future that I get to work with them. And for me, it's the easiest and biggest impact thing I can do for my body and for my health. That is so easy to incorporate right into my daily routine and being able to share it with other people is incredibly meaningful. Um, my promo code has changed a little bit, so I want to be able to share it with you guys so it's easily accessible for you to find. I have code Mikkel and that's going to get you 15% off your first month with Seed. In your first month, you get this little glass jar and then every month after that, when you get your refills, they send them in compostable packets, which is really cool. If you haven't heard me talk about them, real quick recap to what they are. This is a probiotic, yes, but it's also a prebiotic, and so they call it their daily symbiotic. So there's two capsules. The outside is the prebiotic, which protects the probiotic from so many different things like transportation to your home, and then also just the digestive process. And it has 100% survivability and deliverability to your colon. I've been trying to focus on just taking better care of my body and supporting my body in any way I can. Probiotics and gut health in general has so many effects from like your skin health to your 
cardiovascular health to your gut health to your gut immune function like it is so interconnected and i really feel like taking this helps to support all that and i feel a difference in the way that i feel day to day when i'm taking my probiotics so i love 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 getting to work with seed they're free from so many different like binders and fillers and free of so many different allergens gluten free all the good things that i look for also just has so many more strains than i even knew was possible there's 24 different strains of probiotics in this one single capsule yet again my code is Mikel that'll get you 15% off your first month of seed I'll have that link in the description down below easy way to take care of ourselves and speaking of taking care I'm going to take care of this little guy now look at that face take him on a walk but on some I'm wearing a strapless bra right now that is really quite uncomfortable <gasps> I have a bruise from it oh gosh I literally have a bruise on my sternum okay I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna put on a sports bra and some comfy clothes Okay, I'm officially changed into the walk slash massage outfit, but I wanted to ask, how do we petition, or do you know of anything, for Lululemon to make the aligned top with like a square neck instead of a V-neck? Because I love the crop and I love the material, but I don't love the V-neck. And if this was a square neck, I think I would wear it every single day to every single workout class. So does anybody know a dupe with a square neck? Because I would love that. Oh. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. Okay. 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 Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Well, hello. I'm home. I brought my camera to talk more about the massage and then I realized I left my memory card at home. That was so good. It was like a nap time and also I'm the type of person that holds so much of my stress in my body physically and I feel like a month of stress is just like literally taken off of my shoulders. So I never regret splurging on something like that physically. Like I feel like it helped my mental state and my physical health so much. And I'm thinking about actually going to Whole Foods. It's a Sunday night, and I feel like everybody goes to the grocery store on Sundays, so it might be a little bit of a risky move, but I was about to start placing a grocery order, and then I was just like, going to the store sounds like a lot of fun right now. Go to the store and then have the rest of the night in to get ready for a Monday. Let's do it. I'm feeling so lucky because I did not think they'd have oat milk, and they do. They're always out on Sundays. And then I think I'm gonna get this big jug of hot pickle spears. That's an impulse buy. That's a $7 thing of pickles. Should I put it back? I kind of feel like I should put it back. No, I'm gonna get it. Oh, $7 pickles? Okay. Lately, I haven't been eating my scrambled just egg in time. I've been having to throw it out, but I sometimes still really crave them. So I think I'm gonna get some of the frozen little just egg um, like squares, because those won't go bad. And it's good protein. See, this is why I normally order groceries, because I just make impulse buys in the store. And this is my next impulse buy. Look, these are gluten-free, buffalo-style chicken calzones. They don't even have egg in them. And I'm just so curious. So, uh, I am, these are, all of this is impulse, except for bananas and oat milk. <laughs> Good morning, happy Monday. I just knocked out an adequate amount of computer work. My car is currently being detailed right outside of my little yard, which is awesome. Had a cute little bowl of granola. This is a mixing bowl, but I wanted to eat granola out of it. And I am so excited to declutter today. Let's talk a little bit about decluttering. I made a very conscious effort when moving into this apartment. When you're moving out of a home that you shared with someone, it's a unique opportunity to be able to take just the things you like without having to like get rid of the rest, if that makes sense. I packed up my stuff first and so I just took the stuff I liked and it has been so peaceful living in this apartment with only essentials or things I really love, which is another reason that I've been so selective about like which PR I get from brands. And I really wanna open up a mailbox, like a PO box for friends online, but I get asked this a lot. The reason I haven't is because so many random brands find it and then just send you stuff and it feels wasteful. I wanna be mindful of not being wasteful in this phase of life. So I haven't done any of those things and I can feel a few of my areas. I, I still, you know, it's, it's human nature. You accumulate stuff and I just wanna be so particular, incredibly ruthless 
um, about the things I have. And if I have multiples of something, just keep my favorite of it. I'm definitely not a minimalist. I'm definitely a consumer, but I want to be a intentionalist <laughs> where I just really love everything I own. Um, so that's the goal today. I want to go through as many areas as we possibly can. And I want to see how many bags we can take to Goodwill by the end of the day to donate. Or I don't know. I'll see where other places we can donate in Austin. I haven't donated anything in Austin yet because I haven't lived here long enough to accumulate enough stuff. So I think that that could be a lot of fun. Okay, I'm going to, eh, I don't know, maybe I'll stay in my pajamas. I was gonna say put on proper clothes. We'll see. And uh, we'll get this day started. Okay, I've just let Max outside because I want to start with this piece of furniture and I have all his toys in here. And I'm sure this is how parents feel with their children when they have to like take away a pacifier or a blankie or donate things. I want to keep a couple of the sentimental toys. Look, these are all full of toys. Like, we don't need that. Okay, let's see. Lamb is sentimental, because that was his second toy ever. A lot of these other ones, I think other doggies can have them, you know? He always thought this loofah was a toy. <laughs> Why do I feel bad getting rid of a loofah? Honestly, all of these, all of these can go. So that would leave us probably with one basket. We can keep lamb. Seal, Longhorn, Ellie. That's his favorite, that was his first toy ever. This guy, I got him for Christmas and it, he likes the ropes. I'll leave that one out for now. This actually, this was from my ex for his birthday after we already lived here. So that was kind. And I think it's important to remember kind things about people. So I'm gonna keep that. And look, we already got rid of all of that. This is my old phone case. Making sure there's no cards in it. And if not, cool. Do I keep a backup phone case for this phone? Maybe one, but not the other. And then we just have a couple blankets in here. So we have one basket of toys, we have one empty basket to grow, and then we have our blankets. I have a lot of games in here. Oh, my phone. Oh, this is my broken phone. And this game, I actually don't think I will play. The Ant, I will donate that. I have some cards, Cards Against Humanity, Monopoly, a puzzle, Scrabble, Game of Phones, Rummy Cube. I will play all of those. In fact, I do play all of those. And then we have some drawers, key part drives. I can get rid of that. So I have a couple notebooks. This charger can go with the cables over here. What's in here? Stickers. Okay, I'll make this my sticker box. Not too much to get rid of in this drawer. This drawer, however, I thought I was gonna use these ring cams, but I've never set them up, so I'm gonna actually donate them. Another toy, donate. I will keep these. Um, I wonder if I should set up this second Google Home in my bedroom. I actually might. Let's do that. These go with the ring cam. I'm gonna donate one of these, or I guess that's been opened, so I can't donate that, right? Maybe I'll trash it. Essentials only, batteries, rug tape, car key, headphones. And this drawer is mostly office supplies and that is pretty much essentials only. That one cabinet alone was already a bag. We're off to a really good start, okay. Do I wanna do my dresser or bathroom or kitchen next? Hmm, let's go see. Gonna start attacking this dresser a little bit. There's not too much in here, but I do have like a couple pairs of sweats that I just, just didn't quite fit me right. They were gifted though. So I'm gonna donate those and only keep the few things that I think I would actually wear. Oh no, I am making a mess. This full bag is just all hair ties. Do I need a hair tie today? I think I do. Sorry, this is what happens. I just, I get distracted. <laughs> I have two beanies. Do I need them both? They're different enough, right? Yeah, okay, I'll keep them. I'm gonna speed through the next part of me just pulling things out of the drawers and so you can enjoy.
of things that I don't know why I hang on to. You ready? These pillows came free with my couch and I never liked them. I've been using one as like a backrest on my dining room chairs to work at, but I've just kept the other two in this closet. We don't need them. Also, I've been keeping this singular pink linen sheet just because it was quite expensive and I bought it at the Pasadena apartment before the Pasadena house. And I just couldn't donate it because I spent like over a hundred dollars on this single sheet, but I'm never gonna use it. <laughs> what else do we have in here? Another random little linen pillow. We can donate that. Another bag to add to the list. I don't mean to take a decluttering break to bring more things into my house, but I've been waiting for this package and I really wanna try it. I got two things from this brand, Cezanne. Look, on the box my name. They reached out to me on Instagram and gave me a gift card, but then I really liked another thing on their site and bought it myself. <laughs> this shirt, I thought would actually also be really cute cropped, but this is what I'm most excited for. This, I, I won't be able to wear it for a while because it's so hot outside. This is a cardigan, but you can tie it in the front or in the back and have an open back. And that's so cute, I think we need to try it on. Just one thing at a time. Okay, I actually would have sized down in this. I think I got a small. Yeah, I'll link this, but maybe size down because it's a little bit big here. But I thought this had kind of subtle Nancy Drew vibes. The warm color and then the rib texture and the buttons. There's a video I've been really wanting to do, but I think it's gonna take a lot of work and not be cheap. So I wanna get your thoughts. Where I like attempt to give myself a little makeover and make a little Nancy Drew capsule wardrobe. So let me know your thoughts on that. But this is like a, this is like a start, like a very subtle start. I would probably go more bold if I did that video. Okay, to the main event. <laughs> I love this. I feel like this is so me and so fun and kind of flirty and different. Lately, I've been having a little bit of honestly a style identity crisis because I see what's trendy and I see what's in style and I'm, I'm aware it's like loose fits and like kind of more gender neutral things and like I see what Gen Z's wearing and I like it but it doesn't feel like me. One of the words that I resonate with is kind of more Parisian style like this feels like me. I want to lean more into this. This feels right. Thank you for this little break. I am about to have a 1 p.m. meeting, but I'm gonna try to load up as much of our donations as possible into this cart so that hopefully right after my meeting, we could do a run to donate and maybe also pick up a coffee because I have zero social plans today and that could be fun. Good work team. This is a lot of donations. Wow guys, I just loaded up my car and this is not too bad for a day's work. Look at all those trash bags and this box of things, this art, it's gonna be a pretty good haul. I've decided coffee before Goodwill drop off because I need caffeine and we are at a new place for the vlog. Mm, I don't think I've ever taken the vlog here. Um, it's called Manana, super cute. It's inside the South Congress Hotel. My only reason I don't come here very often is parking on South Congress is never easy. I am illegally parked right now and I'm gonna just risk it for the biscuit. Also, I just wanna show you how cute it is, but I promise I will give you a uh, rating out of 10 on this coffee because last time I didn't and um, a lot of people were missing it. So uh, thank you for caring, first of all. Let's go inside. You know the rules. The first time we try a new coffee shop and rate it together, we get an iced oat latte. Sticking with the basics for the first round. Mm, a little weak. 6.8 out of 10. Mm, that doesn't feel generous enough. Seven out of 10, we're rounding up. Seven out of 10. I also though just ate a um, Verb energy bar and I'm feeling the caffeine all of a sudden. Off to donate. Look what was four minutes away from the coffee shop. Worked out pretty well. At the South Congress location, you just pull up and they drive it out. One last little thing to unbox and replace in today's video. 
<laughs> that I wasn't expecting to get here. This is an Amazon find. So this, the white uh, duvet cover, linen duvet cover on my bed, I've had for mm, definitely over two years, maybe longer now. It's from Magic Linen and it's really nice, but it's ripped in so many places. I think putting it through the uh, washing machine has done that and I've mended so many holes. <laughs> but I found an Amazon dupe. It still wasn't cheap because it's real linen, but it was about $80 cheaper than this one. So, Oh wow, this is nice. This looks pretty identical to me. I even saw in the pictures, it looks like they have the exact same wooden button closures that the Magic Linen ones have. Aha, I found them, they do. It feels identical. Yep, these are identical. Cool, I'm glad I saved money. I'm going to replace the ripped one on my bed. Maybe I'll show you how ripped it is. <laughs> but here's an example of just some of the holes on this, it's excessive. There's so many, there's more. <laughs> so I'm gonna wash these tonight and put them back on my bed, but I will link this down below. It's still pricey. I think it was $130 for a queen, but this was, I think over 200 for a queen. So save some money there, which is awesome. My plans for tonight are do that, knock out some computer work, and then sweet little nugget that I'll let you in on, just a little sweet thing is, the guy that I've been going on some dates with just um, treated me to ordering in dinner, which is a very sweet, kind way to make someone's day if you're not in the same state. <laughs> and that makes me really happy. So <clears throat> probably gonna order in sweet green sounds good tonight. Thanks for decluttering with me. That feels so good. And going to get a coffee with me. We just had a really good couple days yesterday. Wow, yesterday was Sunday. We did a lot. It's been a busy vlog. Um, love getting to hang with you guys as always thanks again to seed for partnering with me on this video don't forget i have code mikkel that'll get you 15 percent off of your first month i'm gonna have the link and all of that down below and i'm going to start my journey of finding my actual style i might make that its own video but would love recommendations of brands similar to Cezanne, i believe it's called that i can find things that i like so i love y'all Thanks for hanging out with me. I hope you have the best rest of your day and I'll see you in a video very soon. Bye. So give me a sign. Give me a sign. Oh, give me a sign. Baby, give me a sign. Just give me one more. Talking to you. Here we go again. Staying up all night to see if you've been texting me. Where do we go from here?